All right, you continue our game. We are still King Odo II, the accursed. We have a bunch of troops raised. We just finished conquering Barcelona, after all. Uh, we press this guy's claim on Aquitan, or more precisely, this little girl here, the Duchess of Toulouse. Because we decided, you know what, <laughs> this stuff, even though the Jour map mode says otherwise, we want this stuff to be ours. It's just unacceptable that anything past this line is not ours. So uh, we press someone's claim. Got this guy's stuff. He's got no children. He's got an heir. Who are you? Oh, you're in my realm anyway. Okay, that's fine. So we've got a bunch of mercenaries here. They are uh, events born troops, retinue, and yeah, mercenaries. We didn't put them down because we were trying to save on the upfront hiring costs by declaring another war, but we have a truce. So we could maybe, yes we can, we can kill this guy, we've got over 100% plot power, so it's not going to be too difficult, because he's not very liked. He, yeah, yeah, <laughs> people dislike him. He's, uh, okay, a few people have died in his dungeon, it doesn't really affect much in terms of opinion, but um, we could kill him, but actually I want a bloodline first. I don't want to make this guy too weak so that my vassals start beating him up. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my troops down. I'm gonna focus on building some improvements for my holdings. So we've decided that Cordoba might be our capital. I mean, it's the capital of the Umeads right now, so they're improving it. And uh, we'll just stick to the historical kingdom capital of Andalusia. I mean. We have Toledo over here, which is the du jour empire capital. So there's that. We'll just make these two counties our main counties. We'll maybe give, well, we will give Castile away then. Maybe to some son of ours or something. So they can be a nuisance when we inherit as our other son or something. <laughs> have an annoying brother. Um, I mean, usually you avoid stuff like that. Game... You know, you play it like a game rather than, like, something you, you know, real life or whatever. <laughs> you can deliberately murder all your other sons and stuff. Um, you've got, oh, oh, he's, he's actually expanding, is he? Does he get special CB or something? Or did he have, I don't know, he just probably, he probably forced vassalized. He's got a lot of prestige. Yeah, that's probably it. Defending. Defending. Are you going to win this? Yeah, look at that. All those defenders. Yeah, you should win this. <laughs> He's enjoying himself up there. Our dear cousin. Roderico. Let's actually have a look again. Where everyone is. So, Roderico. He's our cousin. So, he's over there. So, this is our tree. Agnes. Uh, yeah, she's a bastard. Anise. Heminisinda <laughs> the Hollow. <laughs> Is not a bastard for some reason. The game just messed up there. Her mother, our sister, died during childbirth. But as you can see, she has no dad. She's just like her sister, but for some reason... She has... Uh, she was considered not a bastard. It's just... Whatever. The game just being weird. Alright. You want me to land your son? I don't think so. Wow. This guy's... Awful. No. No, 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 no. I can't just give out land to anyone who asks. What do you think this is? Let's hold a feast. Let's uh, search for a smith, actually. Yes. Let's have a look at our treasury. We've got... Oh, wait. What? Was this from... Army of the uh, Armor of the Cross. So yeah, that was from the Holy War. Uh, Holy War Crusade. Yeah, there it is. Given to me by Pope Johannes the Eighth, as well as the axe. Axes are pretty nice, actually. Heavy infantry and light foot troops. As a pagan, I like using them when I have lots of heavy infantry. Uh, well, retinue and uh, light infantry troops, because it gives. Bonuses, bigger bonuses to heavy infantry and then light foot troops. It's pretty good, but it's only a quality 2 1. 
Are we writing a book? I'm too dumb to write a book. <laughs> oh well. I guess I could fix that by going... I could try and fix it. I mean, that this alone is not enough. Uh, should we do it? We're not spying on anyone, so let's just do it. Right? Let's just try and get a book out. We'll uh, hit this button. Oh, we can't? Oh, I'm doing all this stuff. I'm going to save my money then. I don't need to buy or order any new things. We'll wait until we're Emperor and then we'll create some more artifacts. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. So, uh, yeah. Whatever. You can come along. Ah, here we go. So, yes. Um, bloodlines. We're hoping to get the El Cid bloodline. We still we can still get that even if we already have a bloodline. Um, it's just one of those where you complete certain criteria and you get it. Uh, I think. Hopefully it's not invalidated by already having one. That would be annoying. So we can choose this top option to make it happen quicker. We are 30, so we don't need to. Stewardship, vassal opinion. Minus 25, that's pretty brutal. For how long? Like 10 years or something? Five years. Okay, that's not so bad, but uh, depends. A vassal's like us. There's not much in terms of factions. I don't think anyone's trying to murder us. So... Yeah. This is all just random people doing stuff. For random people. Who are you? Right, you're one of those. You're an enemy commander or something. Cruel, possessed, shy, slothful, ugly monk. <laughs> You've slain some guy in personal combat. All right, well, I don't really care about you. You can just get out of here. You're not worth anything. I think we'll choose this option anyway. We can afford it, so why not? Let's do it. Yeah, you might this guy. Let's improve our holdings. Temple. You can kind of game the system a little bit by getting some events, but it's a bit of a faff to do it. So you can get two baronies and a city. It's not impossible to achieve that, but no point in trying to achieve that. <laughs> I'm not that bothered about it. So let's just build cities everywhere. We care about money and nothing else. Uh, yeah, moderate option. So yeah, the LC bloodline. We need to defend against two Reconquistas and... Or help defend against two Reconquistas and win two. We've won one of our own. I don't know if we've won uh, a defensive one already. I can't remember. Maybe. I think we did. Or was that in our previous lifetime? As him. I can't remember. But anyway, I don't want to wage too much war on this guy. I don't want him... Him becoming too weak. I don't want our vassals to start chomping up everything up, and then we we fail to get the yep yeah, whatever we get the bloodline because well they're dead. And what's the point of doing a reconquista if you don't get a reconquista bloodline out of it? Damn it! Um. Yeah, your metaphor is a little forced. No genius. I mean, she I know. I don't. I don't think she appreciates my. Uh, my criticism. Okay. Um, so. Let's become a patron of the arts. What's one of the diplomacy for? 10 years, right? Yes. Okay, so. Uh, we've got some retinue here that are just like light infantry. Um, what is it? Yeah, this one here, the light skirmish one. But it adds large amount of numbers. We've only got two of them. Like you can see here, we've got 800 retinue that are just light infantry. Not the best, but it adds numbers and it looks impressive. And we've got like loads of troops. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we need it. Actions aren't a problem. All right, so this guy, oops. This guy, he became angered enough because of these you know, the, the negative minus 25 there to create a faction. Publicly humiliated. 
Hmm. All right, son. You want to be my rival? <laughs> this is so dumb, but he becomes ambitious then. Second best option is this, stress. Stress is not so bad. You can lose that pretty rapidly, but this one is pretty bad because you get minus two in like a lot of stats for five years. And I don't want to do that. We're trying to write a book. We're trying to become clever. So ambitious. Let's make our kid ambitious. Pat the kitty. Allow the kitty to follow, your ho follow you home. So intrigue plus one health. Yeah, I guess. Or kick the kitty. <laughs> no. Or just prestige. No, let's get, let's take the kitty home. All right, we got a cat. Got more intrigue because the cat tells us stuff. Master of the hunt. Some guy. Commander. Some guy. <laughs> we don't care about commanders right now. So, um, there you go. Plus one learning. Can we now please write a book? No? Yes? Yeah, there we go. 358 gold. Wow. All right, fine. So, what do we want? Generally, learning is always eh, I find. You usually get something that gives you plus learning and then minus 20 fertility or something stupid like that. The best stuff comes from diplomacy or intrigue. Although my diplomacy is not that great. I think we've already written a really good book. No, we haven't. <laughs> Last opinion plus five. Okay, fine. All right, it does something. Let's just do that again. So if you create the same book, again, you will still get, it will stack. So, um, keeping feudal court or speculum regulae and stuff like that, they're, they're pretty good. They're like quality four books though. All right, friend, what do you want? He wants to, uh, I'm risking my life, so I'd like to get paid, yes. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, you're trying to kill my son? Niece. Oh, my not bastard bastard. Ah, niece. So, okay. Look. I don't really want to jail you, okay? Can you stop? She'll say yeah. Oh. And then we'll marry off so she won't be a problem. In fact, how much pot power do you have against me? 31% just for yourself. Nobody else. Oh my god. All right. So, uh, the Angels of Antioch. Uh, after receiving a vision of the Archangel Gabriel, who helped him lead his army through the treacherous path leading to Atrema, or Otremel, how do you say that? The children of Selbach have miraculously managed to reach Antioch before being spotted by the infidels. In spite of the boy's claim that the infidels would forsake the devil upon their very arrival without the need for a fight, the heathens occupying Jerusalem have begun mobilizing their army. What a surprise! Ready and eager to slaughter the innocent souls marching against them in order to protect their ill-gotten ill land. The world will soon uh, see whether Selbach was truly blessed by the Lord. Those poor foolish souls. Alright, so he's got a lot of troops. And, uh... He's at war with who? Who exactly? The Tulanids down here. They hold Jerusalem? Yes, they do. All right. <laughs> um, all right, you paid me money. What do you want? Can you stop. There you go. Taking a long time to send letters in my own court to these people. All right, niece, can you just go away and be happy. Stop trying to be so murderous. He's envious. Can you... Go. Be happy. Look, you're, you're Empress now, alright? Maybe that was a bad choice, but whatever. <laughs> She's someone now, okay? What? Cursed Renegades? Well, it's only mostly light infantry, so it's not a big deal. They're gonna try and snipe some troops, I know they are. Yeah, they always do. Go around this way. Come 
Well, let's go over here then, while they're busy standing over there like fools. Let's get uh, direct leader in the middle, inspiring leader, rough terrain expert, brave guy, and then unyielding cavalry leader or the heavy infantry brave strategist aggressive guy. Yeah, that sounds better. <laughs> Those troublesome peasants, damn it. Alright, so he's trying to back him up, but uh, the only thing he's going to do is end up in, in, in an attacking position. Oh no! Did we? Yeah, we did. We managed to finish the battle and he's now got a river crossing, whatever. They're just peasants, they're just idiots. The light infantry. They've just got like, you know, sackcloth, sackcloth pants and uh, cudgels and torches and stuff. They're getting slaughtered. Being absolutely slaughtered. I won! What a surprise! Get out of here. Alright, so we can create more kingdoms. We don't really want to do that. We can create the Duchy of Toledo. Do we have only one duchy? Yeah, we might as well create it. Why not? Alright. There's a lot of people in that. Ooh, you? Ooh, wait a minute. Who are you? You're not in our court anymore? Get out of here. I don't care about you. Still got a few people in our court that are going to die. Let's have a look if we can top them up. We don't need to do this anymore. We'll, we'll just do it one more time. Let's see if we can find someone that has a lot of money. That is ready to kick the bucket. We'll just have no great house and not marry. Just to make it easier to find someone. Rather than having them you know, have a big dynasty. Uh, wait a minute, everyone dead here? Everyone's dead here. Yes. All right, we'll get 75 gold. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> it's free money. All right, where you have to? He hates my guts because, um, yeah, declare war and all that. Get over it. Let's have a look over here. What's happening? How are you doing? Alright, he's winning. Tricks, sir. Ugh. Outrageous. Let's just let the game run, wait for the next Reconquista, and then help them out. So look at Europe. Venice is. Yes. We can become uh, charitable, or we can just wonder if they uh, know the Falcon lead. So Venice is, uh, I mean, it's getting kind of big. Hungary is Hungarian. Lesser Poland. <laughs> when are you going to create the real Poland? Damn it. You're already Christian? You're not Christian, though. Okay, diligent? Nope. Persis. Incompetent stewart. He's got 16. He's not really that incompetent. Why? There was only a 2% chance of that happening per year. 2.37. But, okay. Oh, he's getting help by the Caliph. Ah. Alright. Convert Toledo. Hold a feast. Let's have a look here. What's going on? Nope. Nothing bad going on. Smith. Yeah, no. We've got some um, stuff from the Crusade, and we have. We've got something everywhere, so let's wait until we're Emperor. Um, wow, celibacy, I don't know, don't need to, won't promote. Um, oh dear. Well, it's not a big deal, actually. Yeah, pretty sure we said it's not going to be a big deal. We can just choose the Intrigue Focus and it will go up pretty rapidly. It's pretty easy, actually, to get improvements that way. Alright, so, city is done, let's give him a leg up with a town market. Don't be building universities, they're really expensive though. Hold a feast. No. 
ask him, oh, he, look, he's going to become chased or something stupid. No. What could he become? Hmm. Charm. Okay. So it's not actually based on your traits because we're not charitable. A tough soldier. I'm pretty sure if we uh, if we lead some battles, we can become a uh, what it is next the strangest. Um, yeah, I must move forward. The Pope's gonna send us the message message soon enough. What's going on here? You don't own this. Who's this? The Duchess Alessandra, are you? He's not excommunicated. The Pope loves to excommunicate people. <laughs> Cynical. <laughs> the Children's Crusade. Against all odds, the Children of Christ succeeded in their unlikely quest to reconquer Jerusalem. Hosts of archangels with shining armor and flaming swords have been reported to have descended upon the walls of the Holy City during the final battle, smiting the infidels, turning defenders' weapons into rust and melting their eyes out. <laughs> That's brutal. Salbach now rules over the kingdom of he uh, he <laughs> heaven, not heathens. <laughs> kingdom of heaven, and if and few doubt that it was through divine intervention that he was put there. What? How? All right, frail guy. Oh, he's already got a few. Oh, he he already had a bloodline. He was related to this guy. He's Irish. All right, well done. He doesn't keep any of his troops. He's gonna get stomped. <laughs> He's got a neighbor. His neighbors with two uh, Muslims that have got like 15k. Oh, and another one over here, the Fatimids as well, with 13k. Um, I would have thought he kept some of his troops, but no, he's only got... Is he gonna get some? Are they gonna get converted? Build a church? I don't think so. All right, another 2,000 prestige, revolt risk, uh, yeah, revolt risk, tax goes down, vassal opinion goes down, some more health goes down, it doesn't matter, we've got, uh, we've got a cat, a cat's helping us, good job cat, and we've got plus 0.5 here, so, uh, <laughs> we could choose this, we become charitable, or we can just become stressed, it'll just take a little longer. No, let's do it. We're impatient. Uh, steward, right. Yep. Improve the domain. Unmarried heir. Hmm. We'll just leave him the way he is for now. Let's have a look at our uh, second-born daughter. She will be educated by us as well now. Instead of this paranoid Bulgarian. All right. So his heir is his brother. The evil. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> we just want him to spit out some kids and then we'll maybe murder him so we get these two get independent through exclave independence. Harsh exclave independence is the game rule that we've got. Uh, okay, well done. He hates us. Uh, got this Jewish guy here. Hmm, yeah. Spy on those guys here. Don't stab me in the face. We'll send him some money. Uh, maybe a title as well. He can be the Seneschal. Uh, you're not the best, but I think I want you to be my steward. So you're in the positive and you actually pay me some money. And the safest thing for a low steward... Well, it's not exactly low, but it's not the best. A steward that doesn't have the best stats can just collect taxes. There's... Just not that much bad stuff that can happen. Sure, he can get attacked, but who cares? <laughs> this though, he'll if he's bad at this, he'll invite like smugglers. That's not too good. This, well, we don't really want to do that anyway. It's not that great. Study tech is the other safest option, but this is like taxes is all right. All right. Oh, he's already had a kid with some maids or something. That's my boy. Oh, we can give him being. He's already ambitious though, damn it. You can become wroth. No, he's patient. You can become chaste. Uh, that's my boy. Whatever, that's my boy. 
Disturbing news from New Jihad. Oh, there we go. Yeah, because uh, this guy, this stupid kid, took uh, Jerusalem. <laughs> He's got a brother. He's a bastard. Who's your heir? Some guy. Oh, no, he's, he's your... He's your father. Oh. He's a bastard as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> and his great... His grandfather was uh, a lunatic who had great pox. He was stressed, infirm, one-legged, and severely injured. Uh, read Jihad. Yes, okay. Okay. We'll just wait until the truce runs out naturally, and then uh, maybe we should go for this. This is not actually, yes, it is part of Hispania. You are not actually, you're just suzerain, so. Oh, you're, you're. It's two independent states here. This, this. There's only two there, right? Yeah. What does it actually say here? You can't just. Distant realm? Are you kidding me? He wouldn't be able to say yes, would he? I mean, he's a suzerain. He, he's like... Well, whatever. I've never tried to vassalize someone who's paying... Like, who's a tributary to someone else. Not sure. I guess it really doesn't care about what kind of a state they're in. If they say yeah to the vassalization offer. Alright, let's uh, build some stuff. Right, it's uh, Andalusian. We're not going to embrace anything else, Castilian culture. We're going to stay Visigothic. I just like it. It just looks cool. It sounds cool. <laughs> We've got the uh, game rule anyway that slows down cultural conversion, so it doesn't matter. I don't want to have to bother with that. And uh, I usually stay whatever I start as anyway. Like, when I play as a Norse, I never become Swedish. It's just not cool. Like... Staying Norse is so much cooler. Yeah, we're Norse. Not Swedish. Who cares about Sweden? <laughs> I just annoyed a lot of people, probably. Well, the game devs are Swedish. <laughs> Norse, damn it. It's all about being Norse. You uh, can get ripped. <laughs> Look at this, though. This is split up. Okay. So it's Kvitsuk everywhere. You've got claims on each other, right? Yes, you do. And you're a reform pagan. What are you running? Ignatic Galvin. Okay. The truth is out there. All right, we can see this guy's opinion. Lower or become stressed. Are we already stressed? We're stressed now. We don't want to lower the quality of our book. Let's actually go through here then. Let's. Get Castle Town there, let's get Castle Town there, let's get Castle Fortifications here, Castle Town there, Castle Town there, just get Castle Towns everywhere. Castle Walls, Castle Towns, um, Training Grounds, get the All right, Castle Town, uh, that's everything. Alright, good. Now, actually, do I want to start constructing some stuff. Do we do it? But what do we want? Do we want a royal palace in Toledo? I mean, what could we get? Hmm. I kind of want to wait for a grand fortress, though. Because I want an armory to get myself a Zweihander. That's all I care about. I don't care about any of the other things. And I don't think we're going to be playing this long enough. I mean, this is pretty easy. We, we're just casually playing along now. It's, uh... A falcon would serve you well. Yes. There you go. Enjoy. Marshal. Commander. 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 Hmm... Of course, he that hates us. <laughs> sure. 
hold a feast. Yes, let's do it. Education. Our daughter. What can she be? Whatever, let's spice things up. Let's make her a stabby. Yep. Yep. Indeed. Alright, here we go. I don't like you either. I could build a... Uh... Aha, there you go. Alright, so people will like us more now, because we've got a very generic kind of ish um, bloodline. By revolutionizing the legal system of this realm, King Ordola II has enshrined his name as that of a wise and benevolent ruler. Of course. Um, <laughs> killed a few people. Uh, ready to hear the plight of his subjects and administer justice, justice with a firm but gentle hand. Of course, look, we're kind and just ourselves, it makes sense. His dedication to uh, equity and virtue have undoubtedly ensured him a place by God's side and earned his dynasty a spot in history. Kindness is its own reward. So now we have a uh, bloodline which makes kind and just rulers or people like us more, which means we get a lot more people wanting to join our courts now as well. They're like, oh, you're amazing. Look, there's kind and just people all over the place that are like, yeah, let's join. In fact, let's have a look. Any of you people rich? <laughs> uh, preferably without family. Are, are there any that are really rich? Like any kind of relatives to Merchant Republic people? Merchant Republic people. Families or dynasties? Um, nah. Oh, look at this guy. 111. Welcome. <laughs> All right. New ambition. See the realm prospect. Build a great work. It's just not going to happen. We need to build a great work to to a stage of at least two. That is just not going to happen in our lifetime, unless we become immortal. And once you start this, once you select it, and once you begin building something, nobody else can select that ambition again because, well, you already have. A great work in the in the you know, in the pipeline basically. <laughs> so the game says uh, no, you can't choose that. It's, ah, I hate that ambition. Uh, my daughter. No, no, it's fine. Welcome. Uh, Pope. You like me, all right? So I'm going to just tell you to get lost so that I become brave. Okay, so, um, there's nothing permanent here. He becomes angry. Uh, religious authorities, whatever, become... Temple vassals will become annoyed for 10 years. Uh, wait, 10 years? Seems a lot... Uh, no, it's actually just two years. Yeah, sure. Get lost, Pope. So we're brave now. And uh, we can hand this out. We can hand this out. We can... Not hand that out, we don't need to hand that out. We can make uh, some other guy like us, my cousin. In fact, let's have a look at our court. Birch court. Dynasty members that are not married. Oh, it's just, uh, oh, him as well. 58. My cousin. Whatever, just marry anyone. Yeah, quick. Produce some hairs or something. <laughs> my son. Alright, fine. Should we get him a proper marriage? Through this button, all the like high prestige women, or should we just marry him off to a genius again or something? Right, let's have a look. And they're always married, aren't they? Um. <laughs> She's one, <laughs> and he says yes. <laughs> But I guess it's because it's unagnatic. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to wait that long. None of these people have any kids. This guy's kid himself. So, uh, I don't know. 
Who do we want for our son? I really don't know. I mean, there she is. Princess, uh... What's her name? Berengera? Bering... Whatever. Princess of West Francia. Courtier of Berry. She's 15 and strong. Lustful. So the kids are probably not going to be his, but, uh... <laughs> Maybe. Attractive? 29, though. So, um... Let's have a look. Strong? Quite a few strong ones here. There's a Zealous. 21. That's not too old. 14 stewardship. Shrewd. Hemmer. Nah, eh, we'll wait a bit. See what happens. Or maybe they'll get snapped up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we'll, we'll just go with the strong ones then. We'll just try and create a strong air, right? Probably not going to happen though. Go for the lustful one. She's a cape as well. Hmm. Sure, whatever. Let's do it. I mean, our son is lustful as well. They probably both cheat on each other and stuff. But it's fine. We don't care about commanders right now. Until we get, like, events that give us proper commanders. Oh, God. Last of traitors. No, I, ah, I wanted to swap the... The shortcut is dead, but it's also raised troops. Damn it. Whatever. Uh, pile in there. Yeah, too late. Couldn't back him up. Pile in there. Beam up. How dare you? Twenty piety? Yeah, how dare you? It's worth it. Twenty piety is really nothing. Ah. Uh, yeah. All right. That is the right number. I thought we were going to have more than that. I, I forgot that at the beginning of the game we had five thousand only because I had some mercenaries raised. So let's have a look at our dungeons again on unknown plots. Nothing interesting here. Who are you? You're not directly under me, so it doesn't matter what you're trying to do, actually. Uh, you're just helping someone kill some guy who's in hiding. Okay. Hey. He's a... He obviously was uh, Muslim, yeah. Now he's Catholic, but people want him dead. You can become friends with this guy, the slow way of the tiger guy. Hmm. Where are you? Oh, yeah. oh you got way of the tiger. Uh, I've got the game rules set so that you can't really interact with them past this line here. You have to be in this area to interact with them. Uh, tributaries and stuff do not expand their range, because I think it's just stupid. I was playing in Scandinavia once, and then suddenly I got declared war on by the protector, the whatever, general protector, to make me a, a tributary. It's like, it, it's really bizarre. <laughs> That range is maybe a little too far. I mean... Okay, tech. I think we'll keep the tech when we won't spend it just yet. You know, that range there is a little too far. Uh, and yeah, I've disabled them invading uh, in the game rules. Just, I think, adventurers only or something like that. It just... It, it becomes not fun to have the general protector there. Because he spawns troops. Whenever someone declares war on him, he magics troops out of nowhere. He's got his own troops, his base troops, and then he gets reinforcements. The AI can't account for that. So you get all these vassals. Of, I, I was over here with a big empire, and my vassals were constantly declaring war on him because he only had 10k troops. Uh, my king vassals declared war on him. But the second they did, he got 50,000 free troops and then just steamrolled my, my vassals and, you know, it tanks your moral authority and stuff. And it's just, it's, uh, it was not implemented in the best way. Anyway, uh, yes, you're of age. No, you're not bad. Yes. What do you want? Ah! Yes, it would be my honor. There we go. Reconquista. Let's just... I'm pretty sure it doesn't take long for... Oh, and there's a revolt going on. That is perfect timing. Just 
don't tell me that he declared war for some place that's going to get invalidated soon enough or something. Alright. I can vassalize one of these knights because uh, I'm Iberian, of course. Um, which one? I don't think it really matters, right? Santiago. Um, Calatrava. I'll go for Santiago. Up here. Calatrava is like... Yeah? Oh. Somewhere around here. Is, is that it? It's, it's called something different now, but I'm pretty sure that's just the Andalusian name for it, is, is it? Or whatever. Uh, yeah, we will do that before the war gets declared. Sure. Uh, did that do it? I just clicked it and nothing happened. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright. As a sponsor of the upcoming Reconquest campaign, I have a prime opportunity to aid Sons of the Reconquista. What manner will I help him? Alright, so morale damage and speed. Damage against religious enemies sounds like the obvious choice and it only costs piety. Seed speed. No, let's just go for this. So he'll beat him up faster, so we'll be stronger in the, in the fights and stuff. Aha! So there you go, our Jewish spy master is giving us extra tech, that's nice. When is this happening? Is this... There you go. It happens pretty quickly, so it was good for us to raise our troops. Let's just follow this guy, where is he going? We'll, we won't attach ourselves, we might just risk taking attrition if we do that. Right, see our realm prosper was not successful. Okay. <laughs> I like how we vassalize him and he's instantly trying to fabricate a claim on uh can can you not? I mean can you actually steal it? Whatever, we'll just <laughs> we'll just leave him. Get a stronger uh holy order, I guess. Um Wait, 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 wait. Right, he's already been hired by someone else. By this guy up here. He's, <laughs> he's getting attacked. Oh, it's going to end anyway. Oh, he won. Who's attacking? This guy. Whatever. Alright, let's follow him. Probably split my stack in half. What is the? Oops, I almost clicked on that. But thankfully, uh, there's like a buffer time. We can't click on anything. Uh, you and blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah. So, do we want to be a scholar? Hmm. Is there anything we want? I don't think so. We could just say, all right, uh, let's become a uh, scholar. Or we can try and get something else. What could we even get? I don't think there's anything else that we really care about. Um, we could go back to intrigue and get higher intrigue, but does that matter? Uh, let's just go with it. We'll just go with it. Um, So this one gives me prestige, but it gives me negative opinion. Or we could just silently take it. Whoa. <laughs> haven't I annoyed my temple vassals already quite a bit? I haven't, but some of them aren't really paying me taxes. Oh, because he loves the Pope by a hundred. Oh. Pope is pretty uh, popular, apparently, right now. He will stop paying me. No, I'll just choose this option. We'll get the trait, but we won't really make a big deal out of it. Ah, so many pop-ups. What, what was... Oh yeah, right, th that guy. You know what, actually, I don't care about you. Just stop. Stop. I don't want all these symbols up here. 
We are on Primo. I could create those kingdoms, but I don't want to just because it will get, you know, make people annoyed. They'll covet the stuff. So what is 17, 21, whatever, we'll just pile on there. 21 supply limit. Just siege just now. They're probably going to assault siege with the second night. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright, I'll beat up this army. Let's get some battle war score. Right, my direct leader with the movement speed is gone. I've got this guy here temporarily now. I don't really want him there, so uh, organizer. Welcome. Uh, stop sucking yourself, you pig! Again? Stop! Oh, there's still a cell siege. Alright. He's here. Let's replace this guy. Organizer there. Have the inspiring rough terrain leader in the center. Unyielding. No. Aggressive. This guy's really got strategist, brave, heavy infantry leader who's aggressive. Let's have him on the right with 24 as well. 24 Marshall, and then just have the guy who's quicker moving on the left, just so we can move around swiftly. All right, let's get out of here. We're taking attrition. Oh, and they moved there as well. Good, beat him up. We captured some guy. He's just some guy. Our daughter, let's make her a stabby as well. <laughs> I swear my kids are going to be murdering each other. Are you in this war as well? Yes, you are. I might just cut you off. Yeah, there you go. You're locked in movement. Let's just uh, go over here. Let's do this. Things, things seem to have moved around a little. Uh, yep. Alright. Smash! That really giving us war score? Oh, someone died! Did someone die? Wait a minute, what? Pretty sure I had this guy on the right. Did I accidentally remove him? Don't seem to have any missing commanders, did I? What? Yes, I do. Have this brave guy. Uh, let's see. Is this... Oh, so you produce a kid. <laughs> All right, Veramondo, welcome. Oh, they got reinforced. Doesn't matter. Is this gonna help us? Yes, it is. Let's get out of here, we're taking attrition. Siege this down. We converted some more stuff, that's nice. Throw that there. Let's, uh... Do we have a siege leader? No, we don't. We need a siege leader. There you go, there's one. Don't need to even need to bribe anyone or pay any... Uh, buy any favors. Wrath of the old gods. Oh dear. Lock up your son and daughter. <laughs> In response to the new era of crusades and jihads among the Abrahamic monotheists, the great Filkia Hothulfa has informed all G Germanic gaudies, gaudies of his plans for a magnificent Germanic pagan response. In fact, all pagan heads of religion may now declare great holy wars. This could be the beginning of an unprecedented heathen aggression. Unprecedented heathen aggression. All right. All right. Well, indeed, lock up your sons and daughters. So this guy, yeah. Did the other guy arrive already? Did we? Did we get in? No. There he is. All right. There's the siege guy there. All right, you. Siege this down quick, you in the middle, movement guy on the left. He's a trickster now? He's a trickster. Hmm. I can intervene? Nah, it's not my business, I don't care. My, my uh, grandmare having a 
some problems with his wife. What are you actually getting here for Leon, huh? Wait, what? Just that? You mean just like that? Well, okay. What are you doing? I'm trying to kill some attractive kid. <laughs> what? What exactly did you get out of that? What? What is this? Are you somehow related? Like, in some way? Are you just... Yes. You're trying to murder your brother's... Kid. So you're... Wait a minute, what? How are you in a matri marriage? How did this happen? <laughs> Wait, what is your county? Palencia. Right, because of her? She somehow matri married you off? And this guy is like, this is unacceptable. And he wants to kill his uh, nephews. Alright, well. Okay. I felt inspired. Alright, what do we get? To the beautiful Skonka. <laughs> I love that name. Skonka. He's constantly trying to become fat though, so uh, maybe he's just trying to inspire her to not become fat. I'm writing a book about her. So, quality 2, it's <laughs> not great. It gives sex appeal, so okay. Uh, it only lasts until I'm like, what, 40 or something? Unless... Unless that doesn't apply for males, I can't remember. Um, yes, I felt inspired. Oh, your wife died. Well, she did spit out a kid, so congratulations. You want another one? Is that her sister? They look alike. <laughs> you can have this one. Yeah, enjoy. Maybe you'll get another kid. All right, let's back this guy up. He's probably going to assault a siege. Oh, they've got quite a lot of troops now. Oh, yes. The second I arrive, he assaults a siege. I'm just going to attach myself and let him finish the... Oh, we're, we're taking attrition. Wait a minute. What just happened here? He's... 28,000? Okay, whatever. 16,000 now. Um, hello? She's not strong. This is disappointing. I thought you were strong. <laughs> What's... Okay, well, whatever. Let's give her a decent name. Uh, Sibilia? Monia? Agjelon? Uh, Fernilda? Uh, I'm not sure about these names. Ava. Don't we already have one? Yes, we do. Whatever, it'll do. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to win this war. I think we're going to take a break here. Oh, we're getting raided. Damn it. At least it's not getting sieged down. It's not my holding, actually, anymore. It's my vassals. But whatever. Um, yeah, see you in the next one.